Hello, Shalom, Rastafari. This is Wendem Yado. This is Ras Yadinos, Tefari. This is Brother Ayadonis, Yadin, of the Line of Jesus Society of the Imperial Majesty. We haven't recorded a live vid in the moment. We did a various uh, laptop lectures, um, slide presentations, vids, and stuff like that. But we haven't recorded a live lecture. That's one of the reasons why, if you recall from the older video, we had touched on the Shabbat, the Shabbat and the Sabbath, a brief teaching on what does the Senbet, the Amarinya, we call it Senbet. Well, today actually is the Eve. We're going into the Eve of what's known from the Western, we call it the Western Gentile and Jewish perspective as Pesach, as Passover. So what we wanted to do was to go through the Passover Seder. Now, if you caught the video that we had did, um, you didn't know, what is it, the video that we had did just recently where we touched on the Palm Sunday or the double palm, right? That's an allusion to the palms of Palm Sunday. In fact, I think in Nate, my earthly uh, mother might have some palms from her Palm Sunday. You all know what palms look like, but we might bring some in for a presentation, right, as a presentation. Now, the good news is this, and some of the brothers and sisters might really want to celebrate this Pesach over the next seven, seven or so days, right, and they might feel unprepared. So this is for, this is a preppers, this is a, a Passover preppers, right, a Rastafari and a remnant Passover prepper. But here's the good news about it. And we touched on the double palm, we touched on the, the Kenakotat Er, we also had touched on um, Yet, Yet Ale, let's see, where is it? I think we have it under here, the Kidanache from Ethiopia, Kingdom of God. Site. Now, most of this, as we mentioned, is, is, it, is in Amharic, right? And ones and ones are still um, learning and growing um, in the knowledge of the Amharic language. Remember, the gift of language is actually one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. So everything basically is dependent upon our internet, our faith. And it's not working, but it's receiving, right? It's, 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 it's receiving, right? It is our faith, our imminent in the King of Kings, in Kedemar we Hala Selassie, in Yeshua HaMoshiach, in the Spirit of God, and through the Word of God that provides that, you see? And um, some say, well, I want more faith. I don't have enough faith. Notice this. We have faith in things that we never even knew what they were really about. And when we get to learn what these things are really about, we feel very depressed, very sad, like, how could I, right? How could I um, worship Babylon's false gods, right? The false gods, whether it's money, whether it's the American mythology, whether it's the white Western Gentile society, whether it's the, the counterfeit um, um, Jesus or, you, or you, the whitewashed Jesus, so forth and so on, or whatever it might be, whether it is high or low, whether it is small or great. Here's the thing, my brothers and sisters. Have faith in the King of Kings and through his Christ, through the Black Messiah, in the Black Messiah. Learn and grow in the Word. It's the Word that makes us clean. Yeshua HaMoshiach says it himself. It, it, we are clean. Of all of that. So as we grow in the knowledge, right, that so much that we might have, quote, believed. Notice that. We believe these things. So I think the, the, the real crux of the matter is to recognize that it's not like we have to um, really go out there and find faith somewhere or go out there and, and find Jesus or find Yeshua or even find His Majesty, find our Father, because they are not lost. We are lost because of a lack of knowledge. My people perish because of a lack of knowledge. So it's the taking on of that knowledge. It is the spending of that time, whether singularly 
or whether in family, right, with ones and ones who are willing to also learn, that cleans us, that refreshes us, that prepares us, my brothers and sisters. So what we want to do within this series, right, is touch on some of the various aspects, including the language, right? Some of y'all might may have downloaded this right here, this particular worthy is the lamb, the H4C Passover Seder, right? And this, this is mostly in English. It does have some Hebrew here or there. Now, there's this document right here, um, which is uh, Beta Israel, or from the state of Israel, right? And it's a Passover Seder that has been created um, for the uh, Falashas, for our brothers and sisters over there in the east, right? And it's in Hebrew and Amharic. And we've been studying this, all right, along with the English versions along with the Metzhaf Kedus, and it's very interesting as well, but this is the Passover Seder, basically, for the, um, the returnees, our brothers and sisters of the East, the Falashas of the East. But what about we, the Diaspora of the West? And this is for I and I, the Diaspora of the West. But here's the good news. Even though this is the Eve, 2012, 2013, actually. Really, it's 2012, if you understand the zero year. But let's just say it as it is right now. And as we grow, we can understand those those nuances. So 2013, Feb, uh, March, March 25th, 2013, or the 25th of March, 2013. So all of this we would like to really share and go through, right, as well as the Fayikra, and and it and, and it's 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 much to go through all at one time. Plus, in addition to that, we wanted to touch on the clothing, some of our clothing, right? We call this the Amarinya, we call this the Shemiz, right? The Shemiz, I and I Ethiopian and Hebrew clothing, right? As you can see this right here, the Shemiz. Now in the Hebrew it's known as the Katan. Right, the kata. Now, this is important too. Cause remember, Yeshua HaMoshia, um, when he spoke about if one takes your cloak or your 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 garment, right? Um, he actually spoke on this particular. Uh, we're going to touch on this. The Ija, uh, the Ija Abab, uh, right? The Ija Abab. Now, as you if you notice right here, we attach the. Uh, Zitzis, the fringes, Zuf, right? The fringes are attached right here, right, to this particular garment. Now, in Judaism, this is like a prayer garment. This is worn underneath, right? And if you've seen in some of the vids, we've actually had ours on underneath. What we did was took a couple of the extra ones that we have here as a sight sample, right? As a sight sample. Right, so we would like one to get some of these as well. They can order this. This is some of our um, holy clothing, and also one can wear this clothing um, underneath their garment. Now, some wear this over, might wear this as the garment, right? Well, the West is a little bit, you know, colder, so forth and so on. But we can wear this underneath our garment. These cottons, the Hebrew call them the cottons, we call them the chemise. But we can attach the Zitzis or the zerf right here, the fringes, right? As you know, the fringes, which are a reminder, right? Are a reminder, right, of Yeshua, the living law, but it's a reminder of Yahweh's law, right? Of the Torah. We're not under, right, the law in Yeshua HaMoshiach. Hallelujah. We are in laws. Therefore, we are fam. We are family my brothers and sisters. But let's learn about the house rules. See, the teachings of His Majesty and the Torah portion, readings and feedings, they teach us of the house rules. Really, they teach us also how we come from being enslaved or so-called slaves, right, to the Gentiles and to their system of things. 
and once again become sovereign. These are really sovereign teachings. Some folks think this is religious. This is more than religious. This is sovereign teaching. Listen, we don't want to go over the time, right? So let's look at the time. We got about five or so, four or five more minutes in this particular portion. Just want to get a time check. So where should we begin, right? First of all, we have to begin with uh, the time. The scripture says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So how do we redeem the time? We first of all have to be able to tell time. Even if we see signs and we don't know the time, then we really don't know the signs of the time. So what time is it really, right? And here's where the Kidanachin, here's where our Kenakot er comes in very handy for I and I. Like we said, most of this is the Amarinya, right? So for those who still are presently a little bit linguistically challenged, this is one of the reasons why we'll go through some of the translations of this, and we're also seeking to create our own English, right? An English uh, Turgum, a basic. Now, in going through our Hebrew holy days, our Hebrew holidays, which includes the the Shabbats or the Senbets, we said there are three kinds of Sabbaths, right? There are three kinds of sabbatical rest. Now, in the West, this is the beginning of what we know as Passover, right? Passover or Fasica or Pesach in the West. According to this calendar right here, our Passover, so we're going to call this actually a this is a, a prepper. When we say a prepper, it's a preparation for our truth, right? And, and the two truths, and the teaching on the two truths, which is, which will involve a little more detail, right? A little more detail. We don't want to get into it so much so right now because for those who, who are unfamiliar with it, it can be a little bit complex, and we don't want to add confusion as we are coming out of confusion. Right? Remember, in Yeshua, Ha Moshiach is that simplicity of Moshiach. Right? That's why with the Sabbath, it's not about rites or rituals. It's essentially a function of the heart. It says to remember the Sabbath. So if you remember that this is Passover, right? and, and just meditate on a few scriptures regarding the Exodus, the coming out of Egypt, if you're able to download, right, Worthy is the Lamb, and just go through some of the basics. Just get a basic idea, right? Do not feel as though you have to um, work for righteousness or you have to work in that sense for the love of God. If you receive the teachings of His Majesty, right, of Yeshua, HaMoshiach, that testimony and that witness, if you say, our wool and our main, that Yeshua, our black Lord and Savior, is Adonai to the glory of Abba Kedus, Kedus, Kedus. That is how you begin, my brothers and sisters. So, with that being said, in this short portion, right, stay tuned. We're going to get into some of the details of this. So, this is a, a Rastafari. Passover in Ethiopian Hebrew, for those of us in the West, a Passover prepper. Shalom, Rastafari. Stay tuned. More to come. This is Wendem Yadon. And I love you, but most of all, the King of Kings in the Black Messiah, in Yeshua HaMoshiach, Jesus Christos. He loves you. And he's calling I and I out of Babylon.